Housing the Dairy Cow Wouldn't you like to come home to a clean house every day? Keeping dairy cows comfortable is just as important as making sure they are fed with good quality food and have access to plenty of water. When the animals are fed on zero grazing, there is some savings in the terms of in the, on the side of feed because the animal eat everything and the, whatever remains is very little, it's negligible. And like when the animal is grazing in the field, where it uh, dung almost everywhere, it doesn't feed from that area. An animal that is uh, doing a lot of work scavenging for food requires more energy than an animal that is housed. So that means that uh, the animal has, uh, has more allocation of nutrients to growth and milk production as opposed to an animal that is, uh, is scavenging for feed. Dairy cattle housing is of huge importance to, to, to a farm. Uh, one is that uh, there is close monitoring. The farmer is able to, to monitor the, the conditions of the animals because they are within the homestead. Two is with regard to security. Again, when the farmer keeps the animal in a zero grazing unit, there is that security of the animal. The animal, the cows stay alone in their, their own house. No dogs or stray animals that come into, into the unit. So the, the chances of the animal getting diseases like ECF are very fairly rare. One of the most essential parts is the cubicles, and the cubicles are, are, are form one part we call the resting area. Then the second important part is the walking area, the area that the animals stand on when they are feeding, and also the area where they, they at least can be able to access and, 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 and uh, to get access to, to sunlight. The other one is the, is the calf pen. Uh, it's a very important aspect, the dairy unit for the calf. Uh, when you talk about the calf pens, although we may have the calf pens within uh, the zero grazing unit, other farmers also may want to have uh, calf pens outside. Uh, in cases where the number of animals are very many, it may require that the farmer has a calf pen or several calf pens outside. Uh, the farmer then has to milk the, the, the animals, uh, the cows which are lactating, and the milk is taken to the calves which are kept outside, uh, which is also a recommended uh, system uh, for, for dairy uh, production. Also of huge importance is the, the milking parlor. That's the milking place. And this is uh, uh, made out of one of the cubicles and uh, is specifically fitted there for milking. Also of huge importance is, is the store. And this is where the, the, the farmer is able to, to store some of, of the drugs, uh, to store some of the, the concentrates or the minerals. Then also of very huge importance also is the fodder chopping area. This is the area where the equipments for chopping, the, the fodder material, are, are kept in. And this is also where the physically the activity of chopping uh, is undertaken. Keeping the zero grazing unit clean and open as much as possible allows for great natural ventilation. The floors of the pens should be textured cement. This makes it easy to clean the manure and urine from the pens while the texture keeps the floor from being too slippery for the cows to stand on. How do we build a zero grazing unit? To prevent high investment costs, make use of local materials as much as possible from the farm. The cows will not notice the difference and will be equally productive. The house should be sited in a way that uh, 
the smell, the gases that are going to be to be generated as a result of waste don't reach the homestead. So it should be put in a way that eh, it is beyond the, the homestead. Then also it should be put in an area where uh, which has uh, sufficient drainage. Uh, waterlogged in areas that are waterlogged is not advised to put uh, a structure there. To reduce incidences of, of respiratory diseases, it is always advised that uh, the house is put in a way that it is opposite the direction of the wind. It is recommended that the walking area should be 10 feet long as this gives enough room and space for the animal to move around and maneuver when it is uh, feeding. The size of the feeding and the water trough, they are two feet wide. And that means that in total, the width of our zero grazing unit is uh, 19 feet. The recommended standard width of one cubicle is four feet or 120 centimeters and the standard length of a cubicle is 7 feet or 210 centimeters. The cubicle should not be too long or too wide otherwise the floor will get dirty and consequently also the animals. These are the numbers of cubicles required. For one cow, two cubicles. For two cows, three cubicles. For three cows, five cubicles. For four cows, six cubicles. For five cows, seven cubicles. And for six cows, nine cubicles. What determines the size of the unit is dependent on the number of animals and it, we all, it is always uh, important that uh, you base the, the number of, of cubicles with the number of, of, of cows and we insist that a farmer must have in mind uh, the followers. Those young ones are going to come, to come later, the farmer must always construct with them in mind. The feed troughs is also of huge importance and is divided to make sure that uh, the cows and the small ones, the wind calves, they don't share the, the feeding area. Then in the middle you have the water trough which is shared by, the, by both the mature cows and the, the young ones. Construct troughs for feeding and drinking water on the opposite side of the sleeping and resting compartment along the walking manuring passage. The feet troughs should be two and a half feet to three feet or 90 centimeters long per cow. And one can use wood, stones or concrete. The calf pen is situated opposite the milking place. It has a floor surface of 120 centimeters by 150 centimeters or 4 feet by 5 feet. So, um, to ensure that the calf pen uh, is raised, we normally make a bed uh, with slatted uh, timber. The, the space between uh, the timber that is put there is normally uh, 1 inch, or if the farmer does not have a measure, then it's a space that should allow at least two uh, fingers uh, go through uh, that space. That space is enough uh, to ensure that if there are any droppings or any dung from the calf, uh, they can then go to the floor and then they are wiped out. The cubicle is of the right size if the droppings fall on the walking and manuring area and not on the floor of the resting and sleeping compartment. For heifers, the length and width of the cow cubicle should be reduced by moving the neck control posts toward the manuring and walking passage 
and by fitting another side wall into the cubicle. Each animal has its own compartment or sleeping place. Separation between compartments is done by wooden rails or posts. The floor of the house can be constructed from ordinary soil from the farm. Soil is cheaper and much more comfortable to the animal than concrete or stones. The soil can be replaced if dirty or worn out. The floor of the sleeping place is raised 25 centimeters above the level of walking and the manuring passage. For the concrete floor, mix cement, sand and ballast in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. That is, for one bag of cement, add two wheelbarrows of sand and three wheelbarrows of ballast. The floor should slope toward the end of the building where manure is stored in a pit about three to five meters away from the stable. The cattle walking or manure places should be constructed solidly with concrete because the area is used heavily by animals. Provide a roof over the resting and sleeping compartment in order to provide shade and to prevent the area from getting wet and dirty. For water catchment purposes, the roof is made in such a way that it is able to collect water. For the case of the cubicles, the front poles are at a height of 2 or 5 centimeters. The back poles are put at a height of 185 centimeters as this allows for collection of water from the back. Allow free stalls with spaces that are large enough for one cow at a time, separated by large railings. The cows can go into these free stalls to relax and lie down. Provide sand and sawdust in each pen. Each pen has two rows of free stalls facing each other with no barrier between the rows. Some farmers even provide mattress bedding in each stall. The cows can lie down and take a nap or chew cud, or they can get up and walk around, get a drink, have a snack, or go visit their other friends. There should be a feed trough at head of milking place for feeding the cows during milking. The milking place should be kept clean. Every time the cows are in the milking parlor, the bedding is cleaned. The other, the other importance of having a, a zero grazing unit, in addition to keeping the animal safe, uh, ensuring that the animal is kept uh, in an environment which can be clean, is also that we can also use the products from the zero grazing unit in other ways. One of them, for example, is the biogas uh, unit. Having a zero grazing unit ensures that the manure can be collected easily and you can be able to collect and uh, put it in the biogas uh, much more easily. So it is uh, a zero grazing unit also has an advantage in that regard. Um, additionally, uh, a zero grazing unit also can be connected to other structures uh, which are important in uh, dairy husbandry. Uh, having a zero grazing unit can also um, ensure that we have a crash pen, for example, nearby. This is for uh, use in routine animal husband, husbandry practices, uh, uh, such as during the time when the animal has to be inseminated. Uh, at the same time, we also have crash pens, which we also use uh, during the spraying of the animal in uh, uh, tea control. So in that regard also a zero grazing unit uh, is an important structure but also linked to other uh, uh, structures within the farm. Uh, we are looking at a structure which can enable the farmer undertake the operations in a very effective and a very organized way. 
uh, such that uh, uh, the activities are all related and the farmer can be able to plan uh, all the activities related to the husbandry of this animal uh, within a structured and uh, harmonized environment and that should be able to assist the farmer improve productivity. Watch more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit.